Volvo Construction Equipment, and we invite Tony Sims to speak. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Tony Sims. I work with Volvo Construction. I've been with uh, them for about 13 years now. I've been around the construction equipment industry for about 25, and uh, prior to that, about nine years in the military as a, in the Army Corps of Engineers. I did want to talk about Volvo uh, as, a, as, a, as a company. Uh, we do have several different brands. So I got to talk to my uh, Mack truck brothers over there. I used to work with the uh, Mack defense guys for uh, uh, the past three years. I just came back over to Volvo Construction here this year. Uh, really happy to be back with them also. So uh, uh, Volvo Penta, Terex, uh, we've had a purchase with them. Prevo, uh, the bus uh, guys. SDLG, which is a value brand and uh, our brand over in uh, uh, some other countries in the, uh, where they don't have emission certified uh, machines. Uh, but we are one of the largest uh, truck manufacturers, wheel loader manufacturers, construction equipment manufacturers, bus manufacturers in the world today. So a lot of different brands in there, uh, very proud of those. Uh, we are about a 100,000 people organization uh, out there with all those different product lines. Now I have a, about 183 different models to go through with you today. We're, we're, that's where I need the 10 minutes. All right, so, uh, uh, but uh, the Volvo construction lineup, and this is North, North America specific and what we uh, import today, all we actually manufacture here today, and I'll show you that in just a little bit. Uh, but along with articulated haulers and wheel loaders, and wheel loaders I want to talk very quickly on uh, some of the new technologies that have come out to help you as a customer to be uh, either a better operator, better performance, and uh, that's load assist, which allows you to go out there. It's onboard weighing systems and uh, a lot of additional contronics and those onboard weighing systems can actually report back into a headquarters uh, so you can uh, see what kind of production is being done. For excavators, uh, both the full line of compact excavators and full size excavators, uh, dig assist, very similar, but dig assist allows you to go out there and actually plot out either 2D or 3D. This helps the operator keep a straight line, dig a perfect grade, uh, dig a swimming pool if he wants to. Uh, if the operator's not digging a swimming pool, you probably got an employee loaner program going, and you can do that on the weekends with that uh, dig assist. So keep that in mind. But these are some of the new technologies that are coming out to improve the production of the machines. On compaction equipment, compact assist, being able to uh, give you a, and, and this is actually certified, uh, within 2% of the actual compaction uh, while you're out there compacting roads. This saves you a lot of time from going back and you know, getting your core samples and sending those things back, you can actually get that data in real time. And then, uh, and that's also for both the soil and also the uh, asphalt compaction. So a lot, uh, I saw a lot of demolition going on in the commissioner's uh, uh, briefing this morning. Uh, so high reach demolition machines, if you need to get into that, uh, 100 foot booms where you can go up there and just mulch out all that different materials, segregate it and move on. But uh, and then we'll get into the rest of all those things next year, uh, the other, uh, the rest of the products. We are a global organization. We have a very large industrial footprint. Uh, these factories here, these are just the uh, construction factories, but we do cater to uh, uh, a global uh, market. Uh, we go into about 190 different markets worldwide. Volvo CE Dealer Network. Also a global slide. Uh, here in the United States, we have a little over 300 locations, uh, and this is where the rubber meets the road. We can, make, we can make the best products all day, but unless you've got great dealers out there and certified technicians and fantastic salesmen to bring you donuts and coffee on the job site in the morning, it doesn't work. All right, so those folks out there and here in uh, Connecticut locally, we have Tyler Equipment. Uh, they are in their booth today along with us, uh, uh, working with us today. Come by and visit them and ask them about Volvo also and ask them about their dealership. Once again, this is the interface with you guys directly. Uh, extremely important to have those guys out there. Uh, that is the backbone of Volvo. Always got to get the uh, dealers out there at the forefront. And then a lot of people talked about care tracks and telematics, uh, what those things can do for you uh, uh, in, a, in, in different types of scenarios, machines breaking down. Uh, it also goes into uh, some other things that we can do. Uh, with the active care, which is one of our programs, we're actually monitoring those telematics for you. And then once a month, we will actually send you out production reports We'll send you out how long that machine's been idling, how long it's been in operation. Uh, we can actually get different types of uh, uh, behavior patterns from your operators and we can recommend different types of training. In addition to anything that comes up as an error code, uh, we prioritize them, priority one codes, that's a machine down or that machine is getting ready to go down as a hard failure. 
and we're going to notify you uh, either by a phone call or an email or a text and say, hey, you need to shut this machine down. Now, all that other background noise and those priority threes will tell you, hey, you can just catch this at the next service. You don't need to worry about it right now. So that way you can keep on working. But nowadays, it's all about uptime. It's all about production. It's all about keeping those machines out there. So when you're looking at your fleet management services and that type of stuff, uh, the telematics uh, and what those bring, not just Volvo, but you know, to the trucks, all construction equipment, uh, you as equipment managers need to get the, into this more and more. Ask about it. Push for it. It's vital to your success. It's going to help you on uptime. And uh, that's probably one of the biggest things that we've come out with in many years uh, that can help you save money and be more profitable and you come in on budget. Well, probably not as profitable, just more come in on budget, right? Okay. And then uh, last but not least, I want to say thank you for the opportunity to both sponsor, be at the show, have an opportunity to talk to everybody. I'm looking really forward to it. So come down, uh, visit us on the booth, and we look forward to seeing you down there. Uh, the preceding was produced by the National Center for Pavement Preservation. More information can be found on the web at pavementpreservation.org. Additional support provided by Michigan State University.